Hi everyone and welcome to the channel. In this video for the Radio Master Boxer, I'm going to show you how to set up aileron differential. Now this is where your upgoing aileron will go up the full amount, but your downgoing one will go down less proportion. This helps reduce drag. Now what I've done, I've, I've connected this to a switch so that you can be in flight and turn it on and test it. And then if things it, it doesn't do what you want it to. You can turn the aileron differential off land and then increase it or, or decrease it by going into a global variable so that you can quickly change it. So you'll be able to test at the field. Eventually, you would then be able to remove the switch altogether and use that switch for something else and just have the, the differential permanently on. So let's take a look at the radio. You can see I've got my aileron differential model chosen. So if I turn on my this switch, so if you watch the ailerons, which are the top two channels there, you can see that we're getting full throw one way and part throw the other way. Now you'd have to make sure, because of the orientation of the servos within your wings, to make sure that this is doing this the right way round. Now that will mean changing the weight to a plus or a minus depending on what's going on. So I can't uh, show you every sort of installation in your wings of the servos, but that's what you'll be looking for. But as you can see, there we go. We've got less going up, less and um, more, more going up, less going down. Right, let's have a look at the programming. Okay. Now, you can see I've added two lines into the channels for the two servos. Now they are just replicated. So, but you can see we've got a global variable there. Now let's go back to the global variables window. Oops, went the wrong way. There we go. We're going to go on to flight mode zero. And if we go down, you can see that I've got two set up in G1, global variable one, which is 40%. Now, you will have to experiment with this to see how much uh, adjustment you can make here. And then we've got G2. Now, G2 is needed for this to function correctly. So that has to be, G2 has to be minus 100, whatever percentage you're going to choose for the differential. But global, global variable one will be the percentage that you want it to be. So that's all the um, global variable setup. And as I say, you will be able to come into here and change this. Uh, so at the field, you can adjust it, make it 50, right, or whatever. Okay, let's come out. And oops, a daisy, go back in again. And let's go back to the mixes and let's go through those. So in your normal channel mix, the first line, you can see we've got a weight of zero and an offset of zero. And that's what you would need to change. We've got our switch SD, which is this one in the forward position. So this would mean that the aileron differential is off. Later on, you could remove that and have it permanently on without using a switch. So if we go down, that will be everything. And if we go to the second line, and on the second line, if we edit that, we've picked up global variable one, our offset is zero. But we have to put a differential in there. We now we manually put that in uh, by pushing enter and putting a hundred in there. Then we pick our switch now in the, in my case, the back position. So, and that will be everything on that line. Then we go to the last line, which we had to, let me just um, show you. If you push enter once and then say insert after, that will put the line in. Now I don't want to do that. I want to edit it. So let me just push edit and you can see our source is um, input aileron. Our weight is the G2 rate, which was the minus uh, weight, which is the minus 100. Uh, differential is zero, offset, sorry, offset is zero, differential is zero and no switch. Then you would set that up exactly the same for the, the second channel for your second servo. Well, obviously, if you have an aeroplane with only one servo in to actuate the ailerons, you can't do this. We need to have two servos. So back to here, and you can see this is a repeat of the other aileron, except for on that line, you can see there's a, the second line, there's a, a, a weight of minus 100. 
that's to, to make sure that the um, servos activate the right way, but you might have to change this. Well, I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comment section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.